All right, let's check our answers here. If we think them back to the warm-up, we've got some similar ideas here. So you want to plant a garden, you have 24 feet of fencing material to surround the garden with to protect it from animals. Let's say you want your garden to be a rectangle so that you can more easily make rows of different vegetables. So the key here is that we are given 24 feet of fencing. Different color here, 24 feet of fencing. So what does the perimeter of the garden have to be? Well, if you've got 24 feet of fencing, then that is the perimeter, because we're going to be putting fencing around the perimeter here. So hopefully you had 24 feet there. What is the formula for an area of a rectangle? We talked about that is length times width, or you can think of it as base times height. In this case, though, we're referring to it as the length and the width. So length times width gets us the area on the inside. Okay, so if the length is... 10, what is the width and what is the area? Well, if the length is 10, right, that means my other length has to be 10. So if we subtract that from 24, 10 and 10, 24 minus 10 minus 10, that only leaves us with four remaining feet to be split between the remaining two sides. So that would leave us with two and two. Let's just check it. 10 plus two plus 10 plus two gives us 24, so the width would have to be 10. Now, what's the area? 10 times 2 would be 20 square feet. All right. If the length is 5, what is the width? All right, so let's think about this for just a second. The length is 5, what is the width? Well, length is 5, then that other length has to be 5. So if we take 24 minus 5 minus 5, that gets us down to 14 divided into two equal parts that are left, that would be 7 and 7. Let's just check it. 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7, that equals 24. So, all right, so if the length is 5, what is the width? 7. And what is the area? 7 times 5 is 35 square feet. Okay, now let's just think about this for a second. Instead of going through and subtracting 5 and 5 from 24 and then splitting it, let's just think about if two lengths and two widths has to add up to 24, then one length and one width, what do those have to add up to together? No matter what, one length and one width have to add up to 12 feet because the other length and the other width have to also add up to 12 feet because we know our perimeter has to be 24 total feet. So every single time here, one length and one width in our problem here given this perimeter, has to add up to 12, because right? it's halfway around. So let's just say halfway around 24, halfway around would be half of 24, so 12. So when filling out the table here, let's just think about that. We know the length, one length and one width, has to add up to 12. So if the length is 0, then the width would be 12 feet, which is not going to give you really a rectangle, it's going to give you a straight line because you can't have a length of zero, but nevertheless, we're going to just think of it that way. If the length is one, then the width would have to be 11. Again, one length and one width have to add up to 12. If the length is two, then the width is 10. If the length is three, then the width is nine. And then eight, four plus eight is 12. And then seven, do you notice a pattern here? Hopefully you do going down by one each time as the other ones go up by one each time. These are going down by one because the length and the width has to stay constant, adding up to 12, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, so let's just think about then the area. So 0 times 12, length times width, is 0 square feet. 1 times 11 is 11. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 9 27. 4 times 8. 5 times 7, 6 times 6, 7 times 5, 8 times 4, 9 times 3, 10 times 2, 11 times 1, and 12 times 0. Notice the pattern again. It's a little bit different pattern, but notice it's going up. And then you're coming down by those same numbers that you went up by over here, or that you saw up here. All right. So, perimeter. This one should be easy, guys. Let's not think too hard about it. The perimeter, we're given a perimeter. It's 24 feet. Every single time, the perimeter is 24 feet, right? Two, two zeros plus two twelves, two lengths plus two widths, 
is 24. Two ones plus two elevens is 24. Two twos plus two tens is 24. We know this is 24 because that's how much fence we were given. That's really the important part of the beginning of the problem with the information that was given. So all this is 24. The perimeter doesn't change. The perimeter is always the same as we went through here. Okay, so why does the table stop at a length of 12? Well, if we try to go up to 13, all right, 13, so let's just think about that. If there's two lengths of 13, we're already up to 26 feet, and we only have 24 feet of fencing. There's no number that we could put here to give us a width with the 13 and still stay under or get us exactly 24 feet of fencing. So it stops at 12 because if we didn't, then we would be over 24 feet of fence. And we don't have enough fencing to go any more than 12. And really, we don't have enough to go to 12, because that would mean a width of 0, which wouldn't make sense for a rectangle to have a length of 12 and a width of 0. It would be just a straight line. You'd just be lining up the fence in 24 feet, but you wouldn't be able to enclose it as a rectangle. All right, see what length and what width should we use to have the maximum area enclosed? So if we look at our work here, our maximum area is on this list here. Our maximum area turns out to be 36 feet, 36 square feet, I should say. And look at the length and the width that makes that. So six feet for a length and six feet for a width. width. Six by six feet gives us 36 square feet. So should be interesting about that is that the largest possible rectangle is actually a square. Six feet by six feet gives us the most space possible inside. And a rectangle or a square is a type of rectangle. So there you have it. So the best layout for our fencing would be to actually make a square out of it. Six, 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 and six. Notice all the way around would give us that 24 feet of fencing and the most possible area on the inside.